Hello everyone and welcome to a new season of Meet the Debutants, a series where we meet a new debutant of the PDC World Championship in every single episode from India to South Africa. Stories are being made in Ali Pelly. Are you ready to get to know them? This is Meet the Debutants. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Meet the Deputants. Today, another interesting deputant in our YouTube series. It's the winner of the Indian qualifier, Prakash uh, Jiva. Um, how are you doing, Prakash? I'm very well, thanks, Tim. <laughs> very well indeed. You were, um, well, first of all, a surprising participant of the Indian qualifier because we, we or at least the, the, the darts fans, who um, uh, the, the bigger darts fans, they already knew you. Um, you played under the English flag before, um, but the first time for India. Can you tell us the story and how that uh, go? Okay, so uh, I've had dual citizenship for India uh, for almost eight years. And uh, this year they allowed me to play in the World Championship qualifiers. So mm -hmm. I thought, okay, uh, this is the first year the PDC have relaxed the law. So we've got dual citizenship of a country. He was eligible to play. Uh, so this year, I decided to go over and take a chance. If I was good enough, I would qualify. Mm -hmm. And lucky enough, I took that chance and I went over there and, and I managed to qualify. You did. Was it a, a surprise for yourself, qualifying? Um, it was because it's something that I've never experienced before. Mm -hmm. So going over to India, uh, I've never played darts in India before, so I didn't know if I was able to cope with the heat uh, because it was like thirty-six degrees over there. Um, but it was, it was, it was fine. Um, where I played, uh, the venue I played at, everything was perfect. So, luckily, my darts were good as well, so uh, I did manage to play some good darts. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, usually the 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 Indian qualifier is won by India's best player, Nitin Kumar. You uh, beat him in the final. How, how did he react on you, on like stealing his qualifier? Well, the thing was that uh, he's always been very respectful, Nitin has, uh, and he's a good friend of mine as well. And mm -hmm. um, like I say, the standard over there, uh, he he's quite, quite above the standard. So that's why he gets to qualify. Um, this year, with, with my experience, because I've been playing darts for such a long time, um, I, I thought it would just be me and him in the final, and it was just me and him in the final. Yeah. And I was quite fortunate where I, I hit my doubles early uh, to allow me a, a good lead. But mm -hmm. like a true champion he was, he come back strong. That's nice of him. And I, I've interviewed him before, and I, he is a very... Very nice guy indeed. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your your darts background? You, you've said um, you've never played darts in India before. Um, so so how did uh, yeah how did you grow into the darts in in the UK? Okay, I, I started when I was uh, seventeen years old. Seventeen years old, just by playing in a local working men's club. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's where it all began for me. And I found out I was pretty useful at that age, at the age of 17. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I started playing for my town of rugby, where I'm from, rugby. Uh, from there, I got to play for my county of Warwickshire. Uh, and then it was only 12 years ago, because I'm 52 now, it was only 12 years ago, um, I decided to play in the PDC. Mm -hmm. And if I was good enough to qualify for the PDC, then um, uh, I'll, I'll take my chance on that and luckily on the first attempt uh, I managed to qualify so um, I had a good 10 years in the PDC you know um, which gives me good experience mm -hmm. so I progressed all the way you had three of those experiences in the PDC of periods you had a, a, a PDC tour card I mean um, but still, in in that time, which was already a couple of years ago, you didn't manage to uh, to qualify for the world championship. Did you always keep that hope to to still do it? 
Um, yes, you've got to keep believing. Um, in the UK, the darts is very strong, very, mm -hmm. very strong. And uh, there are many good players. I think England is the home of darts when it comes to playing darts. And the standard over here is, well, of course, it's the best in the world. Uh, so it's very difficult to qualify for these sort of major events. But I still kept believing that one day I could. One day I could. And it gave me the opportunity through the Indian qualifiers, because I am Indian. Um, and uh, yes, I uh, managed to managed to do it finally. Mm. You're going to make your debut um, with your 52 years of age. I mean that that whole story yeah. is is amazing already, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's not very many old ones. I think there's me, Gary, Raymond. I think a few of us, which is still <laughs> over fifty. Old Peter. <laughs> yeah. Um, was I? I know you. You are from Indian descent as well. But was um, uh, applying for your your Indian citizenship eight years ago? I've heard in another interview. Was that also? with the darts in your mind or was this a totally different reason it was a totally different reason um i have family in india which we mm. go to visit uh on a regular basis uh so we go to visit family a lot and we have a lot of family in india um but i've never actually managed to play darts in india because there's never been the opportunity uh -huh. um it's growing sport over there now um and it's slowly growing slowly growing there's still a, a lot of things that need to be done uh, to make it more popular and mm -hmm. i'm hoping uh, with my uh, my appearance in the world championships and with the help of other few people um, we can get it a bit more mm -hmm. noticed in india are you planning to to maybe organize or well not organize but at least help the the local um tournament directors in india as well with with your view or is that something you, you'd like to do in the future yeah it's definitely something i'm very interested in doing i, I want to use my experience and um mm -hmm. my knowledge as well to help the players over there um because there's some fantastic players which i come across in india yeah um, in the tournament there was maybe 60 players 50 60 players which i met and there's at least 10 of them which i found were absolutely fantastic players okay so, um it is growing over there and there's some youngsters over there as well which are very very promising mm -hmm. so with my experience and with my help i think i can um, expand it into schools and things which it is already happening at the moment mm -hmm. um to make it a bit more broader that is a a, a nice picture uh, definitely um as you are representing india uh, right now is the Asian tour or the Asian championship something you also look um, forward to in the future or, because I mean it could also be a route to qualify for for the world championship again yeah it's something I'm gonna definitely look into um, it's it's just to do with sponsorship and time off work and things like that because I do have to still work you see um, but it's something that I, I would be interested in doing if I had the right sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, yeah, I said you ha already had three times a, a tour card before. Is it still something you, you'd like to do? Are you still planning to to go to Q-School every single time? Yeah, as I say, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to go in January again. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's the traveling side, which I find a little bit difficult when I did have my tour card. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's something that, um yeah if i'm good enough i'll qualify and, and that's why and i'm playing some good darts at the moment so um, there's no reason why i can't qualify again mm -hmm. soon you're going to play for thousands of people in alexander in the alexandra palace are you excited are there nerves uh i'm looking forward to it <laughs> okay. i really am looking forward to it i mean uh the greatest greatest performance uh for me prior to this was probably playing in Dusseldorf in Germany mm -hmm. uh, where I played in front of two and a half thousand I think people and um, it was absolutely an amazing experience one which I'll never forget because there was chanting my name and I don't know what I did um, but there was chanting my name in the very next day 
when mm-hmm. I think Raymond, Raymond Barnabas was playing Kevin Painter and they were still chanting my name while that game was going on the next day. Mm-hmm. Uh, Raymond came up to me at a Pro Tour event, I think the very next week or something, and says, what's going on, Prakash? I'm five-time champion of the world and they're chanting your name while I'm playing somebody <laughs> else. Yeah. So uh, that was a... The memories, the memories. You're yeah, going to do a walk-on? Memories. Is your walk-on still the, the same one as I saw on Wikipedia? The the Apache song? Apache by Sugar Hill Gang, yes. Yes. Still the same one. Is there a special memory uh, behind that song or is it just a nice party song to to, to, to get the crowd going? No, I think it's got a, it's got a nice tune to it. It's got mm-hmm. a nice tune. Um, it's from, I remember from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, um, one of the characters was dancing to it and it was quite like um, catchy mm-hmm. and it's a tune that everybody knows as well. So, I see. Well, we'll be like we will we will be excited to to see you walking on on that stage for the first time in Alexander Palace, and maybe in the future again, maybe in the in in India's team of, uh, at the World Cup if they're lucky to get invited. Um, but yeah, I want to wish you uh, all the best, uh, Prakash. Thank you very much. Thank you.